you can see I have the Expo homepage open. So this video is going to show you how you can use the Expo documentation to start an application. So right here, I'm going to click on my browser right now. So you can see you have to visit expo.io. So when you visit on the website, you can see the fastest way to create or build an application. So Expo comes, comes with a lot of tools and services that you can use and quickly deploy. And uh, you can iterate on native Android and also on web apps, same with uh, JavaScript code base. So they have a lot of uh, JavaScript code base on their documentation, on their API resource. So there are a lot of things you can get from Expo. You can get access to device capabilities like the camera, the location, notification, sensor, haptics, and much more with all universal APIs. Uh, you can build service, give you an app store, AD binaries, and handle certificate. No need for you to touch S code or Android. So uh, don't worry, this part of the uh, explanation you will understand whenever you want to uh, deploy an app to Google Play Store. So over the air updates, let you update your app at any time without a hassle. And uh, that's exactly when you are using their, uh, let's say, their premium package or their premium plan on their website. So you can always try Expo, Expo in your browser. You can click and open Snack. You can see a pre-made uh, demo apps you can try around. So that's it for a little bit of introduction. So let's just get started. So I'm going to click on the Get Started. So when you get started, uh, you can see, first you're gonna fall in love with it because it's very simple. And then you can uh, make sure you have Node.js downloaded. Then you can type this down on your command line too. So this is either your terminal, if you are running on a Ubuntu operating system, or if you're on Windows operating system, you can use the PowerShell, the Windows PowerShell. So you can find it when you search for it on your Windows, Windows PowerShell. So these are great tools for you to use to run commands uh, with npm whenever you install npm but i'm not going to be using powershell i already have my choice i downloaded this standalone app called commander so you can just search for it on uh, google you can just uh, search for it and go over to the official website and download that then you can run it as an administrator it's going to give you all the privileges that the powershell as well will give you so uh, i already run this so i have this installed already so all you just have to do is to copy it and paste it on your commander. So I already have that done. So I'm not going to run it again. And that's the simplest way you can just install that. So whenever you have this installed, the next step for you is to create a simple Expo application. So the way you can do it is you have to type down Expo in it. Then you can put your project name. So right now, let's just go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to type down expo let me just zoom this properly expo init i'm just going to type down expo projects so it's going to ask me some couple of questions so let me just minimize that a little bit so the first one is a minimal app as a clean and empty canvas it's just going to be an application that is going to just be using uh, javascript files then we have the second one typescript so all your naming conversions have to be uh, with the react tsx so you also have uh, some couple of templates they add together with it we have this typescript and also some minimal essentials you can as well get out from uh, the typescript or the normal workflow so let's just go ahead and select any one you need but i'm just going to start with typescript uh if you're not conversant with typescript you can as well start with a blank because there is nothing much we are doing for now. So I'm just going to show you how you can just set up a simple Expo Android application. So I'm just going to select TypeScript and hit enter. So you're just going to grab this uh, TypeScript template and just install it for me. So once this is done, we can then continue. So right now everything is done. And you can see our Expo application is actually installed with a typescript template that we selected so the next thing for you to do is to switch over to the project folder so it's going to create a folder for you whenever you type down the expo in it it's going to use the name you type down as the project name to create a folder and then add every other files for you inside that same folder and uh, there are some couple of steps they give here so let's just go ahead and do everything they do here for us to start a simple expo application i'm just going to go into expo 
project and uh, when I list this you can see we have a list of files here so there is nothing more so the next step says you can type down expo start uh, open expo client on your device scan the QR code printed by expo start with expo client Android or camera you you may have to wait a minute while your project bundles and loads faster so let's just go ahead and try this so before we try this uh, you make sure you have your Android Studio being set up and uh, you have a working Android emulator or you can as well download the Expo application from Google Play Store. But the Expo application downloaded on this uh, application, uh, sorry, on this phone you can see or uh, this emulator on my screen is also from the Play Store. So I'm just going to reopen that. So I'm just going to select Expo. So same thing you can see. So it's going to actually show you because we are on the same network my emulator and my laptop is on the same network it's going to show you the current uh link that you can use to open your application but before you get to run your application the first thing you must do is to type down expo start so let me open my commander and i'm going to type down expo start when i type this uh a, there is a an advice given there that is going to you may have to wait a minute while your project bundles. So let's just give it a short time while it bundles. But mind you, if you have Expo installed on a mobile device, you can as well uh, scan this QR code from the Expo app. It's going to take uh, make use of your camera for you to be able to scan this QR code and it's going to run the application for you. So far, you are on the same network. So I'm just going to open that Android. So right now, I'm going to select run on device Android emulator. I'm just going to select that. You can see this little snack bar at the uh, bottom right. And it's going to show you as well that everything is working. So it's going to be bundling those things just one minute or two, but it's not going to take much time because my machine is kind of fast. So let's just open our application. So whenever we select the uh, run on Android emulator, we are going to be faced with this screen. And you also have to uh, notice at the bottom right that we have the percentage that it is bundling for us. So that's how we can just uh, open it quickly. So let's just give it a couple of seconds. So guys, even as you watch, do make sure you hit the like button and as well the subscribe button. And do make sure you share to your friends. That's 72%, 80%, 82%. We have almost 90% right now. So we have 98% and we have 100%, 100%. Everything is done. So let's just allow the application to open. So let's just give it a couple of seconds more. Couple of seconds. A couple of seconds so it says building javascript bundle finished in five seconds so let's just give that a couple of seconds so right now we have our application running on our android emulator perfectly so that's how we can set up a simple expo application so for us to uh let's just make a change to this text let me just show you how the uh, scaffold is going to look like on your editor. So open your commander. Make sure you have uh, Visual Studio Code installed. I'm just going to split this to the bottom. That's why I prefer to use commander. So I'm just going to type code there. And it's going to open that project folder for me. So as you can see right now, we are in the project folder. And this text you can see here. It's exactly this text you can see here. It says open the open up app.ts and start working on your application. So I can just change this to hello. We always have hello world. So when I save that, you can see it's going to refresh that. And this this makes it very cool and very, very simple to use and also very, very fast. So guys, if you really enjoy these videos, do make sure to hit the like button and as well the uh, the subscribe button i also have some couple of cool animation video so do make sure you check them out 
and also uh, make sure you always hit the like button and also the subscribe button so thank you for watching see you on my next video